In this blog, we're going to look at trimming silicone bite records, which I use routinely to mount both diagnostic casts and when I'm doing preparations. One of the ways I find most efficient to trim these is using a scalpel blade versus a handpiece with an e-cutter or a wheel on a lathe. So as you can see, I'm carefully pulling the blade toward myself and I'm trimming both the lingual and the labial extension of silicone that wrapped over the teeth, making sure that I have no more than a half to one millimeter of overlap of the material on the buccal and lingual sides of the teeth. The same blade can now be used to remove the material that flowed in approximately, as well as going in and removing any place where we picked up occlusal anatomy, grooves, and fossa. These areas are places that the silicone will be far more accurate than the cast that we are attempting to mount. If we don't carefully remove this material, it will prevent the cast from seating fully in the record, thereby giving us an inaccurate mounting. I do the same procedure on both sides of the record, maxillary and mandibular. If I have excess material that's gone beyond onto the soft tissue, beyond the distal of the last tooth, or that's extended over the front of the teeth, I trim that as well, making the record neat and usable to mount casts accurately.